Between 30 and 40 million people are facing eviction before the end of the year. And even those that aren't facing eviction are struggling to get by. We've been waiting for a second stimulus check for months now and is starting to wonder, is it even gonna ever come? It seems like we aren't any closer to a stimulus deal than we have been since August. It would be really nice to have some extra money just for food, to catch up on rent, or to just take a night out. But with the current economy, how are we supposed to come up with some extra cash? In this video, I'm gonna show you five ways that you can make some extra cash outside of your regular income by doing a side hustle. Now, what is a side hustle? It's basically doing some extra work outside of your regular job to earn some extra cash. If you're interested in how to make extra money, learning more about your social security benefits, or how to build your net worth, then consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And be sure to hit the like button if you find this content helpful. So there are lots of ways to earn extra cash. I'm gonna go over five of them and we're gonna start right now. So the first way to make some extra money is by selling things. Now you're probably thinking, I don't have any money to buy some products to sell to other people. Well, that's the beauty of this tip. You're gonna sell stuff that you either already own or that you find in the free section of Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. Many people, without realizing it, accumulate things over time and they usually just can sit in a closet or they can just sit somewhere in our house that we don't really even think about it. So look around your house or apartment and see if there's some things that you don't really need anymore, you don't want anymore, whether it's clothes or other small items or even furniture. You can post these things online on Craigslist, on Facebook Marketplace, or other online classified services that are in your area. In addition to this, of course, you can hold a garage sale at your house and sell a bunch of your stuff all at once. A garage sale may take a little bit more of your time, but it could get you some more cash and you could make a few hundred bucks in one day just by selling some stuff that you already own. And ongoing, you could continue to sell things that you don't need in your house or in your apartment. Or one of the things that I think is actually a pretty good way to do it is look on Craigslist or on Facebook Marketplace for free items. Now I spent only a couple minutes on Craigslist and on Facebook Marketplace and I found a few free items that I think I could sell for you know, 20, 50 bucks, depending on you know, the, the potential buyer but it's stuff that I found for free on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. So look at your free section of your Craigslist in your area. Be sure when you're doing this, when you're going to meet up with somebody, especially for free items, you know, make sure you take a friend with you or a relative or a neighbor, somebody that you trust, so that you're not going alone when you go to meet up with somebody to pick up a free item. And also when you're selling items, the same thing applies. When you're going to sell items, make sure that you're safe and that you're with a friend or a neighbor or somebody else that's with you so that you're not alone. You may wanna just meet up like in a parking lot of a public place, maybe a Walmart parking lot or something like that. You know, that way you're gonna have a lot of people around and you're not gonna be worried about somebody knowing where you live. Most of the people that are, are looking to buy on there are legitimate people, but there are scammers out there and there are people that are a little bit suspect. So be careful with, with when you're selling things and buying things online. And in addition to this, if you don't feel like holding a garage sale and you don't feel like having people come to your house to buy things from you, you can also sell things on eBay. Especially if it's clothes and lightweight items that are pretty cheap to ship, then you can post them on eBay and it's gonna be little trouble for you to just stick it in an envelope, a mailing envelope, take it to the UPS store or you know, send it to the United States Postal Service and just send it along to somebody that's buying it. And eBay handles all of the transaction payment and everything else, and you don't have to meet up with somebody. But either way, you can hold a garage sale, sell things on Facebook or on Craigslist, or sell things on eBay, but, but sell things that you already own or things that you acquired for free on one of those services. The next way I have for you for making some extra cash is by becoming a substitute teacher or taking on a part-time job. Now, especially with this current climate that we're living in, there are a lot of schools that are looking for substitute teachers. Substitute teachers can make anywhere from 12 to $25 per hour. And while, as long as you have a flexible schedule, and if you're already maybe retired or uh, looking for a job right now, you can find a substitute teaching job that just kind of fits into that free time that you have. Substitute teachers usually don't require any extra training or anything else. When I was a kid, we had a substitute that would come in and she would give out just little Tootsie Rolls, just like the small Tootsie Rolls, probably like a, a penny or less per Tootsie Roll, at least back when I was a kid. But she would give out these Tootsie Rolls and all of the kids in our school loved her and she was the Tootsie Lady. So think of just giving out some small little candy or something like that for the kids and then they're gonna love you as a substitute teacher and they're gonna treat you great. And you can make some pretty good extra cash as a substitute teacher. In addition to this, talk to friends or neighbors or people like that that 
are looking for somebody to walk their dog, to house sit or babysit their children while they're away at work or whatever else. There are lots of other small jobs like that that you can just do on the side. In addition to this, maybe look around your, your area where you live and either walk around or drive around and look for help wanted signs in maybe stores or places where you might wanna work for a little bit. And many of them will offer part-time opportunities. Just think outside the box. There are a lot of opportunities where you can find a little part-time gig, but I think substitute teaching is one of them that's great. And there are a lot of opportunities for substitute teachers right now. If you can think of any other ways that you can find a side job or a small little job like that or other ones that I haven't brought up, make sure you leave them in the comment section below so you can help out those other people that are looking for jobs or maybe looking for little side jobs to earn some extra cash. The next way to earn some extra cash or extra money on the side is by using your skills to help people online. There are many websites that allow you to become an online tutor or in addition to this, where you can use your artist skills or your writing skills or other skills that you may have that you can do some freelance work or just some, some side work that people will pay you usually for the project and websites like Fiverr or Upwork and there's a bunch of others where you can do some small freelancing jobs. Focus on things that you are already good at, that you already do well. Maybe you're a retired math teacher or something like that and you want to do online tutoring. There are a lot of websites online. Just search, search for online tutoring and then they, you will find some websites that will show you how to become an online tutor and then you can actually make some cash by helping out people with things that you already know how to do. And that's kind of the key. You don't want to learn, try and learn something new, but use the skills that, you've already that you already have, that you've already acquired in life. One thing to be careful of when you're doing this, make sure if the service or whatever you're going to sign up for, if they're asking for money up front to be part of their program, to be part of their system or whatever else, most likely you don't want to join that program. You want programs where if you get paid to do some work, they'll take maybe a small percentage of it, but they shouldn't be asking for money up front for you to provide your services to other people. If you can think of other ways that you can use your skills online, be sure to leave them in the comment section below so you can share them with the other people as well. Just remember the old adage, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. If there's a website promising thousands and thousands of dollars every day or every month in just for little work, most likely it's probably a scam. So just be careful with what you're signing up for online. Make sure it's not anything that ever requires you to spend money yourself. Of course, I couldn't do a video about doing side hustles or side work to earn some extra cash without talking about starting a YouTube channel. Now I know there are thousands and thousands of YouTubers telling you to start a YouTube channel and it's easy, just do it. Well, I'll tell you a few things. It's not super easy, but you can make really good money on YouTube. There are thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people making really good money on YouTube. Now, YouTube is not gonna be a quick cash, so if you need like cash this month, you need like 100 bucks this month or whatever, YouTube is probably not the thing that's gonna get you that money. It's gonna take time to build up a subscriber base and build people that are willing to watch your channel, but once you build that up and once you actually get people watching your videos and people you know, clicking on your ads and everything else, once you get monetized, then you can start making money from the ads that run during your videos. And that's how I actually make money make, doing YouTube right now. I still have a full-time job and I'm you know, doing 40 to 50 hours a week at that job, but then I do YouTube between 10 to 20 hours a week on top of that. And it adds a little bit of extra cash each month that's nice to have. Many people are so worried what they're gonna look like on camera when they're starting their YouTube channel. Here's the little secret. All of us YouTubers felt really, really awkward when we first started making videos. And many of us still feel awkward when we're making videos. So don't worry about that. Just have some fun with it and make sure you're choosing content that's interesting to you and content that you wanna share and maybe along with kind of those skills that we were talking about before, those things that you know that maybe not a lot of people are familiar with, then you can share that with YouTube, then you can make some pretty good income once you build a following. Now, it, like I said, it's not gonna be super like quick and easy money because really nothing is, but it's a great way to earn some extra cash once you build a following. And like I was saying, choose something that you're interested in 
and make it fun. Make sure it's it's fun to you because if it's not going to be if it's not fun for you and you're not enjoying it, you're going to get burnt out and and it's not going to go very far. It is a great way to earn extra money and there are thousands if not hundreds of thousands of YouTubers that are making a lot of money and many of them have quit their day jobs because they were making so much money on YouTube. Now, I I'm not going to say quit your day job right now because you're going to start a YouTube channel. But start on the side, see how you like it. And you don't have to have any fancy equipment to start. All you need is a cell phone with a camera, an iPhone, a, an Android something, and the cameras on cell phones are great these days. And all you have to do is really just hold it and just talk. There are free video editing softwares out there. I use a free video editing software called DaVinci Resolve. And DaVinci Resolve is a super powerful software that people have made movies with and everything else. And it's free. You just download it and there's, you know, there's a free version and it's great. That's all I ever use is the free version. If you want more content from me on how to start a YouTube channel and getting going on a YouTube channel, let me know in the comment section below because I'd be happy to help you guys out. If you're interested, let me know in the comment section below. The last tip I have for you is one that I have taken advantage of quite a bit, and that's credit card bonuses. Now I'm gonna give you a few caveats and a few warnings before I even go into what this means. First off, you have to have a good credit score. If you do not have a credit score above 700, this one is not for you. But if you have a credit score above 700, keep listening. I've done a video on how to build your credit score, so get that credit score built up, and then once you've got it built up, then you can start doing this credit card bonus stuff because it is awesome and I travel all over the country for basically free because of the credit card bonuses that I sign up for. But you can also just cash them out if you need the cash. Over the past six years, I have accumulated over 2.7 million points and miles just from doing my regular everyday spending. Now, how you're wondering how, how is that possible that I've accumulated 2.7 million? No, I don't own like a business with a bunch of business expenses. I don't spend a whole bunch of money. I'm actually really frugal. But if you're selective with the credit card bonuses that you sign up for and you're careful with how you spend your money and just basically spend the money that you're already going to spend and that you pay your balances off on your credit cards each and every month, this is a great way to earn some extra cash or get some free miles and free flights. I maximize my credit card points and miles and we're able to go to Hawaii a lot and we go to other places as well. But make sure you have a great credit score and you always pay off your credit card balance every single month. If you have credit card balances, this is not for you. If you have trouble in the past paying off your credit cards and keeping a balance where you're paying interest every month, this is not for you. But if you have no problems paying off your credit card every month, getting credit card bonuses is a great way to earn a little extra cash. You know, one of the kind of just basic offers is a Chase Freedom Unlimited. If you spend $500 over the next three months when you sign up for this card, they will give you $200 back. So $500 is, would be your just regular everyday spending, your groceries, your utilities, anything else where you can spend on a credit card. Just do your regular everyday spending. Don't go up and beyond your everyday spending to do this. But as long as you're just using your every, everyday spending, spend $500 over three month period and they will pay you $200 just for signing up for the card and spending that $500. And then you can either cash out that $200 or you can use those points to travel somewhere or use it towards flights or hotel or something else. But using these sign up bonuses is how I've accumulated over 2.7 million points over the past like six or seven years. And I, and I just kind of do it on the side a little bit here and there. Every now and then I'll sign up for a new card that has a good bonus. I just signed up for a Marriott card that will give me five nights free hotel anywhere in the world, basically. Then with other points that I've accumulated, I will fly out to wherever I end up going. Well, maybe you don't want to vacation or you're not ready to vacation. You're not in a point where you can afford to do it, even you know, traveling at all. But you can cash out a lot of these points, like the, that Freedom card, you cash out $200 and then you, you just made $200 for basically zero cost because the $500 spending limit or the $500 spending that you had to do to get that bonus, the $200 is spending you were going to do anyway. So anyway, there's a lot of other credit card YouTubers, maybe Ask Sebi is one of them that goes over a lot of the, the latest credit card deals. There's a lot of websites on how to maximize your credit card points. Thepointsguy.com, um, doctorofcredit.com. There's a bunch of others, but just search for credit card miles bonus 
maximizing credit card miles, credit card bonuses. And there's a lot of resources for you. If you're interested in me doing more videos on that, let me know in the comment section below and I can do some more videos on that as well. I really hope that these tips are helpful and that you can actually use some of them so that you can get some extra cash and it can help you through this difficult time. I know so many of you are trying to just figure out how to pay for rent, get food, and how to stay in your places and, and continue just living your life. Thank you once again for watching. I hope you do enjoy this video. If you do, hit the like button. It really helps me out to share this message with many other people like you. Thank you once again, and I will talk to you again soon.